Hey there guys, Shadowjack05 back on the Silverjack05 channel with another review. Well, as you can see guys today, I actually got my first Space Jam figure from the new Space Jam movie. Real quick guys, before I um, get into this review, actually, well, first I want to say I actually picked this up five days ago. Um, I picked it up on the same day that I got the, that my brother got his new Naruto figure. I actually got this at Target for $9.99, but I put off the review for a bit because of course, I was still working on that plush tubing video. I'm actually trying to edit the video right now for the plush video. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can post that soon, but still. Um, so first off, as you can see, I got my first um, Space Jam figure for the new Space Jam movie. It's LeBron James with um, ACME, however you pronounce it, Rocket Pack 4000. And just so, you, just so you know, guys, LeBron is actually my favorite basketball player. I think he's a really good basketball player. So yeah, and second, please do not um, talk about the movie in the comments because please do not spoil it in the comments because I have not seen the movie yet. And well, that's basically because like, well, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but still, I have not seen the movie yet. So please don't spoil it. So yeah, well anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the figure. First, let's talk about the packaging. We do get a few of the characters from the movie of course lebron james right there does have the whole window packaging in there you can see the rocket right there lebron and that silver basketball which looks really cool it says launching rocket that's cool attachable rocket and here's a look at the back of the packaging of course the space jam right there it does say space jam right there new legacy just collect them all you have all the other figures right here of course um, I really do want to get Bugs Bunny. Hopefully, hopefully I can eventually find him. But yeah, and real quick, here is the text right here or the reading right here. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that right now. You have a few seconds. Okay, moving on. So yeah, of course, there's other figures available down here. And I really do want to find the the, pack, the two pack that has the Tasmanian Devil because yeah, I really like that guy. So yeah, hopefully I can find that one too. But yeah, enough about the packaging. Um, I actually used um, my knife right here to um, cut um, these parts of the packaging. So just so that the video wouldn't take too long. So yeah, either other than that, enough about the packaging. Let's get this thing open, shall we? Yeah. Well, if we can. Oh. Okay, almost got it. Here we go. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna sit this down here for now. Yeah. Okay. First, I want to get out the basketball here. Yeah. If I can. Mm. Actually, first, let's try to get out LeBron real quick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This may take some time. Please be patient. Why is it so hard to get out? So I got that one arm. Let's get out this arm. It kind of looks like as if he's a zombie. Well, the way I have him posed right now. Gosh. Hang on, guys. I'm going to cut the camera real quick, and I'll be right back. I This is going to take too long if I do this. Okay, guys. I'm back. And, guys, I want to tell you, I had a lot of trouble getting just this one simple accessory out of the packaging. This, For some reason, this one simple accessory, the silver basketball, was packaged very well which I really wish this company wouldn't do that because I had, that's the reason since it was so well packaged, I had a hard time getting it out. I actually had to like cut in to the packaging. Seriously. And I just want to say, well, I forget the name of the company who made this figure, but I'm just going to say this company who made this figure or whatever. If you're listening, you're probably not, but I just want to say this. If you're listening, please don't package these very well because because of you, I had to cut into the packaging and it was a pain getting this out. So please don't do this again. Well, yeah, well, now we're done talking about that. Let's talk about LeBron here. So 
Already, I really like this figure. So first we're gonna, well, first we're gonna talk about the features and stuff. See, he does have the basketball jersey right there, the whole basketball uniform. It says Toon Squad right there. Apparently that's gotta be the name of the team. Remember, I haven't seen the movie yet, so d please don't spoil it. And of course he does have the hair, beard, mustache, of course. And he does have um, a black wristband, a black um, arm thing. I forget what this is called. Of course, he does have the, what looks like reddish or brownish boots. I can't really say which color those are. I think they're red, either red or brown. He does have the hole in the back um, for the rocket, for the rocket pack. Yep. And so, yeah, the, and now let's talk about articulation. So he does have articulation at the head. I can show you right here, see? And it cannot do a 360, just so you know. It can only articulate about this much. So, yeah. Of course, he does have articulation of the arms. Can they go out? Oh, yep, they can. At first, I thought they couldn't, but yeah, they can go out like that. Also, they can also do a 360 like this. They both can. He also does have articulation at the elbows. See? And also, they can move like this. And also, he can rotate at the hands. So, well, can you rotate at this one? No, actually, never mind. He cannot rotate at this one, but he can rotate at this one. So, yeah. And, of course, let's see, does he turn at the waist? Nope, he does not turn at the waist. But you can move his legs back and forth like this. His legs do, do not go out, and don't even try because you'll break it. What else? Yeah. His legs can only pretty much just, like, kick forward like this. But he can, he can actually turn at the knees. He also can bend at the knees like this. Let's see, does he have articulation at the feet? No, he does not. But uh, yeah, that's as far as articulation goes. And yeah, that is pretty much it for LeBron. Let me stand him like right here. There we go. Okay, now I want to talk about the silver basketball. So of course, here's the silver basketball. There's not really, there's hardly anything to say about it other than it's got the hole right there. So it can go on the peg that's on his hand right there so he can hold it. And it's like all silvery and, and it looks a bit shiny as well. But yeah, that's all there is to say about the basketball. Now let's talk about the rocket pack. So first, let me move LeBron right here. So, of course, you get this really cool rocket pack. He's got it's got these bars right here that you can move up like this, up to here, so that LeBron can hold on to them. And also, it's got this peg in the back here that can go in the hole on LeBron's back. And also, this right here, if you push this part right here, it'll shoot this red rocket out like this. See? I'll show you guys again. See, so press it right here. Actually, I'm gonna bring it down here and, oh, hang on a second. Here we go. See, it's actually kind of fun. Yep. So yeah, this is a really cool rocket pack. Now let's attach it onto the back of LeBron. Actually, before we do that, I wanna put the basketball in his hand. So let's see, okay. Okay, there we go. So he got the basketball in his hand. Hang on a second. I'm gonna make it look like he's dribbling it, if I can. Well, well, that's the best I can. That's the best I can get it. So, like make it look like as if he's dribbling it. That's the best I can do. Um, but now let's attach it onto the back of him right here, right there. Ugh. And right here is where he can hold on to one of the handles. Ugh. See if I can do it. There we go. Okay, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this figure. So, yeah, guys, that is about it for this review. And actually, I'm sure you can probably make it look like as if he's flying, which I'm not sure if he flies in the movie or not, because once again, I have not seen it. But uh, that's it, guys. That's, so, yeah, that's about it for this review. And so yeah, I hope you liked it. And so that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.